I've done a lot of maps, a lot of competitive studies on maps of different cities that have gone through either um, wars, conflicts, or heavily damaged by natural disaster. So I have done uh, a couple of maps on the spatial, the landscape, uh, the transformation in the landscape of Tokyo, or make a map of uh, like an urban planning map of after 1923 Great Kanto earthquake. So with San Francisco, I, I thought I would just do the same thing. Although it didn't really go through like a war, like what we had in other countries, but the natural disaster of um, the earthquake and fire of 1906. So with San Francisco, I, I thought I would just do the same thing. The 1895 map that shows um, the distribu distribution of the intensities of the earthquake in different scales. So uh, it actually shows all the fault lines. It's going from like lighter to darker and darker, and the darkest red would be where the earthquake will be the most intense, most extreme. Another um, map was the 1907 that showed all the principal conduits in the water supply system of San Francisco because of the burned city in 1906. So I just want to compare those two. So what I do, when I'm done with all the research, I would go back to my studio and study the map very carefully. And after uh, drawing the layout, that's when I start my creative process, when I start going crazy with my colors and dots. So usually the green represents the trees area. I use silver for airport. I use the grayish uh, area for industrial, and I use white when is it like a traditional part of town or is a cemetery. And when it's about residential area, I use a lot of red. So I use a lot of dots that uh, kind of look like kind of uh, the cells that when you see under the microscope. So because for me, maps represent life. If there's no life, no society, no culture, no people, there would be no maps. So maps are not only used like to define the borders of country to country, but also maps are about people.